wasn't good. That was not good. Alright guys, uh, not put a video up for a wee while, um, been busy at work and plus with the weather but today I thought nearly surface road, um, the airport mine, finally got a speed run with XO1, um, it didn't turn out too well, put it that way, so um, I've recorded this after after I've done the video so the rest of it, I might repeat a couple of things that I've said here just now but um, yeah I think I think I've had enough of Traxxas now, I think that's me wiping my hands you anything Traxxas. I mean, my infraction, 80 mile an hour, blinking eye, no hassle. I've got this up to 65 mile an hour and it's absolutely horrendous even trying that. So, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, I'm going to go home, decide what I'm going to do with this. Um, catch you guys later. Bye. Alright guys, Paul here again with a quick video, just for the weather, I've not had anything really out much for the last wee while but um, as you all know if you've probably watched my channel before, my X01 I've had a really hard time with it since I bought it, um, unable to get any speeds out of it but um, I've never found a road to the right surface but as it happens, if you can see down here the back road to the airport where I stay, for whatever reason I've recently resurfaced it so once these cars and things clear out a little bit and um, what I'm intending to do is I've got my GPS on here and zeroed out. I want to kind of see what kind of speeds I can get out at. It's running the sorry for the cars here. It's running the standard XO1 motor, but I've got a Hobbywine Max 6 ESE, and um, it can obviously do AS. But since I've never had any luck with even 6S getting the top speed, I'm going to stick to 6S today, and then. Um, We'll do some videos just now and hopefully we'll get some kind of decent speeds out of it. Fingers crossed I'll get the 100 but if I get above 70 in a straight line with it, without crashing I'll be fairly happy so we'll see how it goes. Got my camera on it just now too, just um, not help aerodynamics but get some footage of it going and hopefully coming back in one piece. Bit nervous with this. I mean, my infraction, you can do top speeds effortless. So this thing, it's got no, no, no stability management, nothing. It's just it's as basic as it gets. I think the later models, the X01, came with that, and it's a possibility it might be worth fitting. But um, really, I just kind of want to just get the car up how it is, and. If I do hit the magic 100 mile an hour with this car, I've got a plan for it, it's just to shelf queen it. So we'll see what happens if it goes goes how I hope, but um, yeah, there's only one way to find out. So less talking and I'll just double check this. Um, Let's see. Yeah, just put on the cord, I almost forgot there. Just it's a new GPS I've got, so I'm not really too familiar with it, but we'll get it zeroed out now. It's set to get the peak speed 
So whatever my highest speed records, this should tell me. I had a little test day earlier on, just walking about and seemed to register fine, so... Here we go. The trimmings go on. First, right, the steering trimmings, right? On the roof, that's not good. Right, no real damage done there, but got up to 52 mile an hour and kind of lost a bit of control and ended up on the roof. So I'm going to take the camera off the top, I'm going to scuff my GoPro's silver front lens a bit there, so I'll have to replace that. But, um, it's only a minor scuff, but um, that'll annoy me, so I'll put the car on now without anything on it and hopefully, hopefully I'll do better than that, but I mean, the way it's going, I'm just thinking it's undrivable and I can see that all these internals going inside a limitless very soon if I, if I can't get this in a straight line. I, mean, I do the same thing with my infraction over 80 mile an hour it's top speed in seconds straight line no hassle this this is just a different animal it's absolutely uncontrollable stable drive in that time but for some reason to me it feels easier coming around this way Got the missus's car stall again today. Um, my Land Rover still in getting body work and things done. So oh, so what speed we got there? That's a bit faster. It's the 
slightest bit of steering on this and it goes I don't know if I could, wish I could dim the steering down a little bit, it might help, but... Battery died there, that's what the problem was. Right, <laughs> one more set of batteries, give that a go, we'll see what we've got here just now. Um, I totally love-hate this car, it's, I want to love it. <laughs> it's fastest production RC car of all time, if you can get the speed, but... Um, Oh, 63 mile an hour, that's, that's that's a record for me with this car, I'll tell you. It's a bit more promising, so, like I say, my goal today was 70 mile an hour. Um, if we get that, great. Um, really didn't even expect to get 63 mile an hour at this. Right, there's hope yet. Um, I'm not going to say she's a lost cause yet, so um, 63, obviously I've not had a GPS on it until now, but I know just by feel, I've never had the car near that speed yet, so I'm going to try and aim for 70 just now, um, if I get over 70 I'll be going home a happy man, but um, that's really hard work, frustrating, but I think if I do get it, it'll be pretty rewarding. Yeah, there's another car coming down. It's a bit frustrating this road because it's really quiet, but just when you think nothing's coming, turns out, turns out you're wrong. Right. Wish me luck, guys. Right, we've got 63 to beat. Not even any any major speed. I mean, my outcast 6S probably be effortless on this road doing that, but I'll tell you something, for me, getting this car is over 60 mile an hour on the road, it feels like an absolute achievement. So um we'll wait till this van goes past. Um, probably look like a total absolute idiot with his head cam on the people when they're going past, but who cares? Oh, sounds like cables came off. I don't know if maybe one of my yeah I've knocked the knocked the uh, C cable out. Sorry about that, what I'll do, I'll just get this back on, I'll speed this up in the edit and then um, I think the excitement's starting to take over. Right, feeling a bit more pumped, which is going to be a good thing or it's going to end in tears. But As they say in the racing, if you ain't crashing, you ain't trying. Do this. Let's go with that diesel-y sound of that horrible car. Right. Hope the cars don't come down here. Very ash. Right. I'll try one more time. We crashed out there, but that felt fast. <laughs> Jump in the girliest car of all time. Go and pick up the most badass car of all time. Try not to crash in, yeah. There's a van coming there, that's why I stopped, so we'll see if there's any damage done, but um 
nothing possible an impact like that there could have been yeah the fronts took a bit of an impact um, oh that's not good here we have it X01 absolutely horrendous to drive um, need some serious repairs now that was pretty brutal but the main thing we'll have to check <coughs> if we can get the body off what speed did we get? Sixty five mile an hour. There we have it. Sixty five mile an hour and it's not ended well. <laughs> <coughs> right guys, well it looks almost like that's it for me, excuse me. Tonight, um either a serious rebuild for this car is on the cards or um a, a donation to a, a limitless. I've not decided yet, but um, you could probably see by the video there how hard this thing is to actually drive. It's it's just uncontrollable. Um, really difficult. It seems to be set up right. I've not done anything drastic to it, it's suspension wise. It's got, but um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video and hope, hopefully enjoyed that. But. <laughs> I don't think I enjoyed that one as much as the last one. <laughs> Catch you guys later. Bye.